With revenues under pressure and funds running low, the city of Ishpeming is facing its financial woes head-on. ABC 10's Rick Tarsitano has the story. Newly hired city manager Mark Sloan has been looking for ways to tighten the city's spending budget since taking over in October. Like this chart shows, you know, how many badminton courts, basketball courts, all these things are located in, in the area. For Sloan, it's a challenge that's right in his wheelhouse. All the communities I've worked in actually have been mining communities. The village of Oxford was the gravel capital of America. Roger City has the largest limestone quarry in North America. And of course here is iron mining. So, I mean, the type of mining has been a little bit different, but uh, economic challenges abound in, in, in mining communities due to the fact that they're kind of boom and bust industries. If the economy's going well, there's a lot of demand. You know, the natural resource prices go up. Things are pretty good. But then when the economy's hurting, natural resource prices can be depressed and communities can struggle. And that makes it very important that we have world-class recreational facilities, one, for the community itself, and then two, to provide an attraction to bring people in to help supplement the local economy with tourism. But those improvements cost money, something Ishpeming is in short supply of right now. That's why Sloan is taking the city's five-year recreation plan out of the hands of private contractors and into those of existing staff members whose salaries are already in the budget. But the plan, which would seek out state funding, won't work without the help of the community. We can't ask for money from DNR unless they see that we have documentation of a public need and a public desire for certain facilities. The problem is we have a very short time frame. We're supposed to have a draft copy of the plan out for review 30 days prior to the deadline. So that's by the end of January. We have to have, have a draft plan out there. So this is going to move very fast. So. If you know anybody, please tell them we're looking for input and we need it right away. That way the city can receive 75% of the funding for whatever citizens deem important enough to invest in and get started on other grants to make up the difference. In an effort to stay true to its money-saving tactics, the city will be fielding input through its Facebook page and surveys that will be available at City Hall. So if you live in Ishpeming, spread the word and voice your opinion. Reporting for ABC 10 and CW5, I'm Rick Tarsitano.